What's up guys? If you don't know me, I'm L'Oreal Jones and this is my channel. L'Oreal Jones Image is my name on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. So um, I am a makeup artist, I'm a studio owner. We do hair, makeup, and lash extensions in here and I'm also, um, I don't know, some people use the term womanpreneur, some people use inspirational speaker, it's whatever you want to use. I just love women and I like making us feel good about ourselves. So I do anything pertaining to women empowerment. Today this makeup look is rather simple, but I need y'all to know it was a struggle. I mistakenly left a lot of my makeup product at home because I took my makeup home to do my birthday look. Um, and I forgot to bring my stuff back to the studio. So I was using stuff that I had here that I usually do not use. I used the product um, that I found at Ulta, an uh, eyeshadow palette. Um, what is it called? Makeup Revolu Revolution or something like that. So I made it work, but I'm not really a fan. I had to use a little bit of one of my pigments I had here from MAC to kind of, you know, long story short, we made it. Y'all, what I use my eyeliner, it's just, just just watch the video and you know if you like it give me some thumbs up so let's get right into it and i'm going to be sure to include all of the makeup products that i use below so that was just a primer from absolute new york cosmetics um and here we are going in with the brows yes honey with some um nyx brown brow gel and just an angle brush to, you know, kind of get up in that thing. And now we're using the LA Girl Pro Concealer, which is obviously one of my favorites. I use it quite often um, to sculpt my brows and also to, um, as you'll see, I use it for highlight on my face as well. So that's the LA Girl Pro Concealer. And I just go in with my brush and kind of just go in most of that top area. And then I kind of just go back with my finger and blend it a little bit more even if, whether I'm using concealer or eyeshadow primer I still do that so um <laughs> this is a palette that I got from Ulta and yeah yeah um so I would it, it would have come out better had I used a white eyeshadow base instead of concealer um white would have made the colors a little bit more pigmented and made them pop a little more since this is a less expensive brand and yeah this purple that I tried to use was a joke like oh uh, sis I was on the struggle bus really trying to pull some color through so that's why I resorted to um pulling out one of my prime I mean not primers pigments that I had from MAC and I just popped it on there just to give it a little something something because that lavender color was not doing nothing for your girl oh um so yeah and this is um this is the eyeliner. It's like a cold base. Anytime you use a cold base eyeliner, it's going to be much darker and thicker and all of that. So that's what I had. So that's what I used. Now, this was the real struggle. <laughs> Child, I have a black gel eyeliner in sight. So I pulled out that good handy dandy mascara and made it do what it do. Sometimes you just got to make it do what it does. You know what I'm saying? And there's nothing wrong with that. Use what you got until you can get what you want. Okay? And so that's what we did and we made it work as best as possible so boom bootleg it up um back to the ellie girl pro concealer to cover these dark circles that are somewhat hereditary but also because i probably should get a little more sleep bow but now they gone so now what loving 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 this foundation <laughs> oh, real tears real tears yeah blend that thing on in oh, See, I was trying not to like get a lot of makeup on my little lace front. See, I was real, uh -huh, real careful on them edges. But yes, got the job done. Cover all, uh, uh, is that a word? No, all areas of your face and blend. I always go back and blend, blend, blend with a powder brush just to make sure it's as even and as flawless as possible. It's just, you know, yeah. Um, so yeah, we're gonna pop on some concealer to do our highlight. Um, always highlight under the eyes, the bridge of the nose, the center of the forehead, um, and I do a little bit under the area that I'm going to contour, just a tad bit under the area like so, or as I'm about to do in a second, right there, okay, so yeah, 
and um, that's optional you don't have to it's just if you want your contour to pop a little bit more it's definitely I would suggest it you know yeah um, I would suggest that step and then if you want to pop a little highlight on top of your cupid's bow and on your chin go for it girl so you can just be out here hitting all those places where light is gonna hit your face anyway yeah blend for your life blend 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 and I went back over with a slightly lighter color concealer just because I wanted a little bit more um, of a highlighted look of course if you're going for more natural you don't have to but even when I do double layers I still blend so much so that it doesn't look like I'm super highlighted and this is um, a setting powder again from absolute New York cosmetics I believe I'm saying that right I'm definitely gonna you know definitely gonna let you guys know the products that I use but I tried this brand from a local a local um, beauty supply store here that I try a lot of things from and I actually like it I mean it ain't Sasha you know it's a slightly different because I usually use the buttercup color from Sasha um, setting powder so this is a little lighter um, but I liked it it worked and I'm here for it it's cool I broke it but I'm still gonna use it and okay um, so yeah, I just kind of pinched my brush together to get this look. I didn't have a smaller brush, I don't think, unless I was just being lazy. I don't think I had one though. I was used, I was limited products, limited brushes. I was just like going for it. Like we here and we gonna make this thing do what it do. So yeah, little contour action, little blush action. I'm almost positive I used Raisin from MAC Cosmetics for my blush situation that's an old faithful one of the first blushes I ever bought when I worked for Matt and so she still show me love just dusting off where we baked with our setting powder and I'm just gonna go under um, with a darker color just to kind of create a little bit more of a smoky look with this already weird smoky eye hey Erica girl walking in all in my video <laughs> she works at the studio so yeah, definitely love to go in my inner corner with the light um, shimmery color usually. And highlighting with some shimmer is always a must. Using some highlight from the Carly Bible, BH Cosmetics, Duo Set. And these are my lashes. And make my wink. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful mink lashes. Grab you a pair of sis. You need them in your life. They totally make a difference. Totally make a difference. Mink lashes are it. And why not shop with me? Like, <laughs> hello, shop blog. Support. Okay, let me stop. Mascara is a must. Before you pop on your false lashes, even if you're not wearing false lashes, mascara is like a must. So, yeah. And, you know, sometimes it's a struggle with the lashes. I'm not going to pretend like every single time it just goes on perfectly or whatever. Because it doesn't always. But once you get that thing on there. You're going to be blinking and feeling yourself and it completes the look. And I do not suggest, um, you know, that you take pictures or trying to do a super glam look without false lashes. And even more importantly, make lashes. Okay. Okay. Um, what else? It's a look. Once I pop on this lipstick, ew. so definitely going to go in with some lip liner first. And I love to heavily, 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 um, do lip liner before I put on a lipstick because it makes it much better to blend so you don't have just like a line around your lips and then your lipstick and trying to blend it together making your liner a little bit thicker creates more of an ombre effect and that's what you're going for and it just makes everything a little bit easier to blend so that's what we're doing and that's why it's so thick up on my lips like that I love this I love this liquid matte um, from NYX. This color I remember in particular is called Corset. It's beautiful and it really looks good on so many skin tones. I, it looks good on from light to dark, you know, just depending on what lip liner you pop with it. It's a really, really, really pretty um, liquid matte that I like to put on different skin tones. So I love it. It's one of my go tos. And I think if you try it, if you haven't already, I think you'll love it. So yeah. Ooh, hey girl. Even though, even though it was a little bit of a struggle, it came together for a simple little everyday smoky situation. Okay. Mm -hmm. If you have not subscribed to my channel, make sure you subscribe. Use that button below. Um, what else do I want to tell you guys? 
just know if you are at your last resort and you only got a few makeup products, you can still make it work because that's what we did today with this makeup look. Um, also, I have another video about how this lace front situation happened, the whole thing. Um, I didn't do it this time, but somebody else put it on for me, so I have another video showing how this process happened. And yeah, so if you're not a part of the Glow Gang, like I don't know what you're waiting on. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. Make sure that you um, uh, like. Make sure that you comment and all that stuff. And I'll definitely talk back to you. So I love you guys.